Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a PWM pump on a Raven rate controller. Let's get started. With the tank full of water and our selector arrow pointed to the main tank, we have our rinse valves off and we have our agitation valved about one third open. Standard running procedure. The first step is to establish a hydraulic full baseline on the tractor. Come over to your pump. Remove the rubber cap off the back of the coil. Thread this thumb screw in until you feel it bottom out. There. Replace your rubber cap. The electronic controls will no longer be controlling the pump. This is just for testing and setting up the flows. Come into the tractor and engage your SCV for the pump. Start out with your hydraulic flow very low and slowly begin to increase it, watching the needle rise on the pump. 120 PSI is max PSI for the ACE 205 pump. When the needle hits there, or when the needle quits moving, stop increasing your flow. This tractor is at 7. Once you have established your baseline hydraulic flow, come back to your pump. Turn the thumb screw all the way out until you feel it stop. Don't force it. Once back in the tragic cap, again, engage your hydraulic SCV. At this point, you have hydraulic flow going to your pump, but it is not on. Turn your pump on by pressing the button in the middle of the screen. Once it turns to green, the pump is on. Now, let's go to diagnostics and test. We want to calibrate PWM limits. Select test. Turn your master switch on. You will notice the numbers start to climb as we hit the plus button. At this point, you will be wanting to watch your gauge on the front of your sprayer. For this application, we're going to set the PSI at 80. That is our max spray pressure. Our DC percentage is 54.3. Click Set High Limit. Now let's do the low limit. Again, press your plus or minus arrows to change the numbers. Watch the gauge on the front of your sprayer. Keep an eye on your spray pattern so that you have a consistent pattern all the way across. Not enough pressure means not enough spray pattern. Back on the home screen, we still don't have a standby pressure set. How do we determine that? Turn your pump on. And in the middle of the screen here, this is your DC percentage. Watch the front of your sprayer. Put your rate controller in a manual mode. Hit the plus button and notice the DC percentage number right. Watch the pressure gauge on the front of your sprayer until the desired pressure is reached for a standby. This is the pressure you will run when you are not spraying. This particular application, 51.1%, gets us about 70 pounds. The number you have determined for a standby pressure needs to be entered into the monitor. 
go to setup. Settings, control valve setup, PWM setup. And here is the place to enter your standby number. All ACE pumps use a coil frequency of 122. We established our high limit of 54.3, our low limit of 35.6, and our standby of 51. These numbers will not be the same for every tractor and every sprayer. It will vary due to application, sprayer size, and tractor size. Let's review what we discovered. Settings, control valve setup, PWM setup. Coil frequency will always be at 122 for ACE pumps. PWM high limit will set off the pressure gauge on the sprayer at 80 PSI. PWM low limit was also set off the pressure gauge on the sprayer at 20 PSI. Our standby PWM percentage is 51 that is in the neighborhood of 65 PSI off of the pressure gauge on the sprayer. Keep in mind that these numbers are not the same for every sprayer and they're not the same for every tractor. Also, changing from a larger or smaller tip size may have an influence on these numbers as well. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions, always feel free to reach out to Fast Sprayers.